my school and business together because I feel like um, in order for me to not slack on my YouTube channel with my school starts, I need to figure out a way to do that and I figure out why not add it into my channel that way y'all will grab y'all can get some more videos because like yeah I promote but y'all can't see what's on Facebook or Instagram or all my other platforms, like I can't see that, right? I'm gonna let y'all follow me on it, yeah. Okay, yeah, check out the description, everything down there, my website down there. Check that out, like it's all down there, but yeah, so um, it's like, uh, because. I passed my term, right? So I passed this term, which I'm super excited about. I'm super happy about that. I passed. Oh my gosh, now I'm just one step closer. Now, I thought in this video, we're gonna talk about, are y'all ready? Yes, we're gonna talk about my journey that led me up to school. So. I feel like it's a long, it's a long journey, and I say that because I feel like I kept changing my mind, and when I say I changed my mind, I changed my mind a lot. Okay, so let's start. <laughs> so first, I feel like with any thing you need to do your research, like with any college, you need to do your research about that college. You need to do research, all that good stuff, before considering to going back to school. You need to know what field you want to go into, or you can go into be on the side decided. But I rather for you to, to know what you want to do, like so. Huh. Okay, first things first. I did a bunch of research because at first, yeah. I always wanted to be a doctor. Yes, I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be um, a pediatrician. Okay? And for those who don't know what a pediatrician is, it's uh, pretty much a doctor that works with kids, like infants, toddlers, on up to um, 18. Until you're like 18, you see a pediatrician. So, that's pretty much what that is. So... I that's what I wanted to be. But I kept thinking I really don't like school like that. Like I really don't like like can I really do four years of college, four years in med, four years of residency. Can I really do that? No I cannot. No, I don't have the patience. To uh, do that, I don't have the patience to do that. So, uh, even though I still deep within my heart wants to be a pediatrician so bad, but I don't have uh, the patience to do that. I don't have the patience to do that. So, I'm not even gonna attempt to even try, okay? So, I was like, okay, what else can I do? I never wanted to be a nurse, so I knew nursing for me wasn't gonna be for me because I never wanted to be a nurse. It was always a doctor that entertained me because, like, even though with a nurse you can do, you know, something, something, I really wanted to, I wouldn't want to be the one to be with the patient, like, the doctor of the patient, not like, you know, taking shots and stuff like that. I, I want to be the ones, like, you know, 
a doctor. Like, I want to be a doctor. I feel like mm, the doctor's a little bit more than the nurses. So, that's what interests me. And plus, I love anything medical. Anything medical. You can catch me with it because I love anything medical. That's another reason why I was so interested in the medical field because I love anything medical. Like, oh my gosh. I was the person that will love to watch um, medical shows. Like, that's one of my niches. Like, I will watch it all day, every day, 200 like 24 7, 365 days a year. Like, I'm gonna watch it. Like, I love it. Um, like, okay, like this. <laughs> and the reason why I love to watch medical shows because I learned diseases that you wouldn't even think of, right? Like, diagnose me. Like, if y'all watch that, it's about people who got these weird diseases. Like, who got these weird diseases. And. Like disease you never heard of, like like one in fifty million half, like something like that. Like so, I'm like I love that, right? Oh my god, like this girl, every time she ate fish, she had this nasty odor. Like no matter how many times she washed up, no matter how many times she did things, she would still stink, right? Only for her to find out that the fish that she, any every time she eat fish, the fish make her body odor stink, like. It was, I forgot the name of the disease, but it was some. Or like broken heart syndrome. You can literally die of a broken heart, girl. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah. It happens more in women than it does in men, but it happens in men, but more in women, though. I just love the medical field, man. I love the medical field. Honestly... If I wouldn't have been a pediatrician, like if I didn't have the niche to be a pediatrician, I'd probably be a brain surgeon because I would just love to find out all about the mind, the brain. That's why I went into psychology too because you learn about a little bit about that too, especially when you want to help, you know, think about how people behavior and stuff like that. So it's a person. See, see where I'm coming from. And plus, I could work in a hospital with this career. So, I'll be in a hospital. So, but you know what? Let's, let's, let's get into it. So, I was like, okay, what can I do? What can I do? So, y'all wouldn't even believe it. At one point, I thought about becoming a patient chef. We were going to school. For uh, pastry, I got something. I found this real good school, right? And I was fit to, but then I was like, no. I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. Like I knew <laughs> it wasn't what I wanted to do. And there'd be a waste of the uh, waste, waste of money and a waste of the of degree. I wasn't gonna use it. I don't want to use it. I don't want that. So, that quickly went out the window, right? Quickly went out the window. Now I'm like, okay. What else? What else is there? Right? So I'm like, okay. And I constantly kept thinking, like, okay, what else is there? What else is there? Then I thought, teach, right? So, I, I found uh, about two good teaching programs at different at two different schools, but, and I'm just like, no, and I, like, I was torn, actually, because I was torn between that and social worker, right? So I was torn between teacher and or social worker for a while, and I ultimately chose I ultimately chose social worker. So I went to school for social working. Then I ended up switching my major over to become a psychiatrist. So to to the psychology major. So here I am, 
So they um, getting my BS in psychology. And right now I'm doing general psychology. So basically it's like an open field with general psychology because it could be anything. Like you can like once you graduate, you can put your degree to use or you can go straight into graduate school where uh you can go ahead and um go to graduate school and to further your psychology degree. Or you can like I said come out and put your um degree to use. Um honestly I graduate in twenty twenty four. And I still have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to go to graduate school or go straight into working. Most likely, I'll probably go straight into working. Because if that's the case, I could just went into the medical field. <laughs> if I was going to do graduate school. So, we already know what the first one is. I'm about to be graduation. I'm about to be graduation. Okay. To put it to me. Yeah. What was that? Well, that was on you. It's on me. Damn, you put stuff on me now. <laughs> Wait, look. My hands, my hands are dirty. Where did you go wash your hands then? <laughs> so. So I was like, okay, so now, now that we know uh, I'm not going to tell y'all what school I go to, so, but, it took me, so I did, and I also changed school, so, um, I changed, uh, career path and school, so, so, I found this school, and I was like, ooh, this school, school sounds real good, you know, obviously, do your research, do your research, do your research, and once again, the research so to see if they got the good program for you like um if i would have chose pre-med the school i definitely would have went to was ucla they have a great pre um they have a great pre-med program also they have a beautiful pre-law program so if you are interested in law they have a great pre-law program just as well um, and that's UCLA as um, University of Los Angeles, California. Yes. But, huh, I knew because I wouldn't really want to, I, I never had no other backup schools for pre-med. It was just UCLA. And if I didn't get into UCLA, I would never went into the medical field. So, honestly, that's the truth because, huh, that is my dream school. I love that school so much. It's my dream school. Like, that's my dream school. So, and I heard somebody say, never apply to your dream school because if you don't get in, you will be devastated. And I know for some fact, I'll probably be devastated if I applied and didn't get into it because I would have been so hurt. I would have been hurt. <laughs> I would, I would have cried. I would have cried hard. But I do go to a university though. So I do go to this university. So. 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 The psychology field is something different. Um, honestly, you. You. Uh. You learn about so much, like, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. I, I didn't think I was ready, y'all. <laughs> it hit me like a ton of bricks, especially math. College math, y'all. I was this close. This close to dropping out from just from now, okay? I can't believe it because I'm just like, yeah. and I'm thought, okay, let me prepare myself. Like, I can prepare myself, right? 
No, you can't. Who told you to prepare yourself? I thought I prepared myself, girl. What I did was wasting my time. Okay. But, so, I'm going to take you guys along with me through my class and stuff like that. Just prepare. And, yeah, we're going to prepare. I'm going to go over school supplies that I use the most. All that stuff. So the next video would be the school supplies I use the most as a psychology major. And you won't believe the stuff that I use the most. So um, that's going to be in the next video right after this one. So I'm going to be recording a bunch of videos. So if you see me in this, it's the same day. Um, and I'm trying to get um, these videos out to you guys. I want to give a um, get a, a lot of videos, so I just want to go up here and let you guys know that. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video really quick, um, so we can go over the, the school supplies that you would need. Well, that I use the most as a psychology major. So as always. Stay bougie, stay gorgeous, stay sexy, stay up. <laughs> if you like some bad some, and as always, follow me on all my social medias. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification. You know you want to. You know you want to subscribe. You know you want to stay tuned. Not only do I drop good gym, free gym. But I also got good content, good quality, good everything, and I'm giving bougie at affordable price, so you can't beat that. All my links are down below in the description. Go ahead and check me out. I also have a Pinterest, which is the name of my YouTube channel. So follow me on my Pinterest. Follow me on all my social medias, which is all down below in the description. Click my website. It's down there, too. Alright. Peace. See y'all in the next video. Woo!